Jalen, bro, why are you asking dumb questions? Why are you asking dumb questions, Jalen? Bada bing! What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the one and only Tyrell, coming at you again with another video. If you're new to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Make sure you go ahead, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well, Ty.Real with four L's. So, uh, as we all know, John Morant has been spiraling out of control, and he's actually take took a step back and um, spending some time away from the team and is actually uh, seeking the help that he needs. So uh, he did an interview with uh, Jalen Rose. I uh, haven't watched it yet. Y'all been spamming me with the video. And uh, I've heard people talk about it. But uh, I haven't seen it for myself yet. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Roll the tape. Yeah. Sitting down with the hey, sitting down with Jalen Rose. <laughs> Sit down with Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose don't need to be interviewing nobody. How many points did Kobe drop on your head? Man, get out of here, Jalen. <laughs> it's like, nah, let me start. Let me start. Last 10 or 11 days been like for you. And how are you doing? Uh, me personally, um, I feel mentally good that I haven't you know, been in you know, many years since I you know, really got drafted to the league. I'm in a space where I'm you know, very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, I took those, you know, days to be able to, to, you know, learn how to pretty much be there for myself and, you know, learn you know, yeah. different ways to, you know, manage stress. Um, hey, I give Job Morant a lot of credit, man, through this uh, through this whole process. Like, you know, he he's, he's owned up to, like, his antics, you know what I'm saying? And that's a lot of – it's hard, bro. It's hard for, for anybody, especially someone of his superstar caliber, to actually own up to the stuff that they're doing, and he, I mean, he did it, bro, he did it, you know what I mean, he's actually seeking help, so, I give him a lot of credit, man. So, in particular, if you don't mind getting into <clears throat> detail, like, what were you doing these last 10 days, and what did it teach you about yourself? Yeah. Just learning, you know, I can open up, I can, you know, express my feelings, and that it's, you know, okay to be able to express your feelings, so, you know, I was constantly, you know, talking to therapists. Um, I've been doing, you know, breathing yeah. treatment. Um, I've been doing anxiety breathing, you know, different stuff to, you know, help me manage that and, you know, release, you know, all this. Hey, I'm, it, it, it's, it's sad, man, you know, and it's hard, too. Dang, I think my hat is crooked. There we go. <laughs> Y'all caught me in 4K with my hat looking all crazy sideways and stuff, but that's hard, bro. You know, that's a... Uh, He's speaking facts, bro. I, I honestly feel like, you know, as men, like, we're, we're, we're always taught to, you know, we can't express our feelings and, you know, we, we can't tell people how we really feel, you know? So, um, J Josh spinning facts, bro. Josh spinning facts, man. How stressful <clears throat> can it be being John Morant? Very. Um, <laughs> I didn't pay enough attention to that, you know, when it got rough and. You know, I pretty much just let it all build up. And, yeah. Um, that's why I felt like, you know, I needed you know, my time away to, you know, better myself and, you know, become a more healthy job. He's being vulnerable I, in I, 4K, man. Give him a lot of credit, bro. At different points of my life, to be honest with you, I've had friends and family members suggest I do the same thing. And I have done that. And... Jalen, man. With all due respect... I hope you did that after Kobe dropped 80 some points on your head. Real talk. For you to actually take that step is a very <clears> important <throat> one. When it did is. you look in the mirror and say, I'm going to do this? Because it was reported a couple of days ago that it happened. Mm. But when did you say, I'm going to do this and it's necessary? After I made a you know terrible mistake, you know, being inside um, a club and, you know, Went live. Um, I put myself in, you know, a bad position. Um, and also, it's, you know, my daughter. Um, it's times where she even tell me if she's, you know, had a bad Dang. Day. And, you know, I forgot like, Ja know, had a kid. She can tell me that, and you know, I can be able to go and talk to somebody as well. I forgot Ja, ja had a when kid. did you realize, I need to get some counseling? Tell me that morning, your thought process. Yeah, man. 
when you enter? Uh, it was that morning, you know, when I woke up and, you know, seen my, you know, name on the, all over the media for, you know, bad reasons, the wrong reasons, which I didn't, you know, wanted to see. And, you know, I made a call, um, mm -hmm. said, you know, I need to get away and, you know, I need to, you know, find myself again. And, hey, man. I keep saying it, bro. I sound like a broken record. I really give him credit, man. Too many times, you know, people and think they the can program, can battle you know, things and go through it on their own. When you get drafted, <clears throat> you go from being a member of the crew, a member of the family, mm -hmm. to, in a lot of ways, these are your staff and employees because you're trying to put everybody on. Yeah. You're trying to put everybody in position to be successful. Hey, they I help wonder. You become who you are. So I know. I don't mean to keep pausing the video. I know y'all probably gonna get tight down in the comments, but. I'm kind of surprised that Jalen, that they chose Jalen to, to do this interview. I wonder, like, out of all the sports commentators and journalists, why they picked Jalen Rose to do this interview. I don't know. Y'all got to let me know down in the comments. I feel like Shaq probably could have done it better, maybe like Stephen A., but I don't know. Professionally, who can roll with me? And who I need to leave behind in order to chase my goals. Yeah, man. So for you... What has it been like for you over these last couple of weeks, and how has it been for you to make tough decisions about who you rolling with as it relates yeah, to Yeah, bro. Sir? You got to start cutting uh, ties, Josh. Definitely has been tough because, you know, I'm big on loyalty. But, you know, I had, like I said, have to, you know, be there for myself. I have to, you know, put myself in good position. So, you know, I have to. You're you know, a superstar, out, dude. You know, who's really for me and who's going to help me <laughs> yeah, man. in good positions at all Some people just be mooching, bro. And, you know, that's the decision. Mooching off your name and who you no, are, bro. You can't have that around you. Know, I feel good about and very comfortable about that, you know, I'm going to be in a positive, you know, light now with everything, you know, that I've made, um, everything that I've learned um, in my two weeks. You talked about going live, but it's also in the news that Adam Silver, that you met with him today. Oh, I didn't know that. suspended you for eight games for conduct detrimental to the league. What was that meeting? Oh, like? I didn't know John met with Adam Silver. Good. Um, pretty much, you know, an open discussion. Hold on, I, I kind of been out the loop. I read like on a few sources that he, um, that Ja was, uh, he's serving a suspension now, but like, I don't really know if it's going to matter that much. Cause I mean, he's stepping away from the team anyway to actually get help. So I don't know if the suspension is now or like when he comes back or what it is, but I didn't know he actually sat down with Adam Silver. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Um, you know, things, you know, I need to, you know, be better at. But, you know, more of just, you know, showing his support towards me. Yeah, man. Um, you know, and I accepted that. And Mental health also, is real, bro. You know, sent my apologies, you know, to everybody. You know, the league, you know, myself, my teammates, my family for, you know, putting that negative uh, negativity towards, you know. Yeah, you don't want um, that, bro. You don't want that, job. That decision. You got a what daughter, too. you thinking and feeling at that moment when you decided to go live? Did you realize that you he was wasn't. Did that, you think that you were just... Jalen, bro, why are you asking dumb questions? Why are you asking dumb questions, Jalen? You think Ja was actually thinking when he went live and was flashing the gun and stuff? No, Jalen. If he was thinking, he wouldn't have done it. Jalen's about to get me tight, bro. State of mind at that point? I'm pretty much just trying to be free. Um, Jalen, he obviously you know, wasn't thinking uh, about it. Asking dumb asking questions, bro. Which... I shouldn't have, um, and I feel like that's the reason, you know, I made many, you know, bad decisions, you know, in my past, um, How long which is doesn't, video? you know, pretty much describes me, doesn't describe Jai as a person, you know, I'm a totally different person, you know, than what's been shown, you know, in the media. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you know, we, that's we, my we job know Jai, man. man. We know, we all rule for you, dude. Know, become a better Jai, so everybody really can, you know, see who Jai really is and, you know, what he's about. Absolutely. You are holding a gun. And we both know how dangerous that can be. Whose gun were you holding? Well, the gun wasn't mine. No, hey, I don't... Hey, man. Jalen's <laughs> starting to get kind of deep. You know, Josh's PR team is like crossing their fingers, you know. Hoping that he answers this question correctly. But I mean... Ja, ja, ja is a smart dude, bro. I, ja is a smart I dude. Am. I don't condone and 
yeah. or any type of violence. Um, but I take, you know, full responsibility, you know, for my actions. Um, made a you know, bad mistake. Yeah, man. Um, and I can Everybody see, makes mistakes, bro. Uh, Everybody. Image, you know, that I, I painted, you know, over myself, you know, with my recent mistakes. But, you know, in the future, um, I'm going to show everybody who Ja really is, you mm -hmm. know, what I'm about. And, um, you know, change this narrative that, you know, everybody got painted over me. And you know how this works. So now when the IG live video happens and the public sees you with the gun, now they go back and dig up everything that they feel like has been attached to your name over the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, and it was important for me to give you the opportunity to address it because at 23 years of age, you don't want to be talking about mistakes yeah. your whole life. Yeah. And so Facts. there was the incident allegedly. After People began canceling stuff in 2023 for stuff that they did like 50,000 years ago, man. Dot at some of their personnel. Can you shed light <clears throat> and what happened after that game? Um, Majority of the things, you know, that's happened in the past, obviously, you know, I kind of put myself into mm -hmm. um, by even being there. Um, yeah. But all the incidents you've seen recently, um, most of them uh, is a lie. That's know. that's what they do, right? Good vibes, you snap. <laughs> Go ahead, Ja. Go ahead, Ja. I can't speak too much, you know, on those situations because all of them are sealed and um, yeah, I really can't wait to be able to, you know, finally tell the truth. But, uh, you know, what I can say is, you know, like I said before, you know, none of those are my character. And um, I'm a big family guy. I always care for my family. So mm -hmm. it was just me, you know, checking on my family safety. Once my family, you know, was safe, um, I left the scene. Absolutely. And another incident. And by the way, I love your family dynamic. I love seeing you and your father hug and embrace yeah, your, man. Your mom is black awesome. family, bro. I love seeing you with your Loving black family. Like, you're one of the shining stars that bring us into his living room. And another incident that allegedly happened at the mall with your mom was a circumstance that people now wanted to start back trying to dig into. I, the hey, the incident that I'm most curious about is the incident with him uh, punching the 17-year-old the kid or whatever it was, him and... The other dude, like, like got into it with some 17-year-old kid at Ja's house, like, during the pickup game. That's what I'm most curious about. Because, like, I don't know, bro. Like, they said, like, the kid, like, threw a ball at his head or some nonsense. You know, I'm paraphrasing, you know, don't misquote me or anything. You know, I don't really. It was something, something along the lines. You get what I'm trying to get at. That's what I'm most curious about because, like, the kid is 17. I don't know what would make you want to pop off on a 17-year-old kid. Like, even if he threw the ball at my head. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm most curious about. What happened with that situation? Uh, pretty much the same thing. You know, just, you know, I got a call. Um, I went to, you know, make sure my mom was safe. You know, that's my lifeline. So, I understand that when you get that call, you want to be there front and center. And then there's a situation... I'm going to start jumping around this because I feel like Jalen just asking um, him like the same question. volleyball game. Can you shed some light oh, yeah. on what took place in that scenario? Similar situation. You know, that's my baby sister. You know, I received a call and, you know, was checking on her safety. Um, another situation where, you know, once I found out she was safe, you know, I left the scene. Obviously, I realized Josh because it's sealed, but um, – Pretty much everything, you know, you see on the social media, you know, that's going on with that is a lie. And mm. um, another thing, you know, I can't wait to, you know, finally, you know, say my side and, you know, actually tell the truth or, you know, what's going on. Yeah. So it'll finally stop. Do you take pride in being a role model? I do. And, you know, I realize, you know, I have a lot of kids, you know, who look up to me. Yeah, bro. Even, you know, probably some adults, you know, a lot of fans. And Everybody love watching John Murray, man. man. Past mistakes isn't being, you know, a good role model. So, you know. Yeah, not as facts. Now is, you know, changing that. You know, finding ways to, you know, pack in an even better way. Put a, you know, bright light on, you know, the younger future coming up to, you know, show them, you know, what what not to do and, you know, what to do. So, um, just got to be better in that area. You know, be more responsible. Be smarter and, you know, make better. It's, it's kind of like... He really can't answer, like, questions about role models and stuff. Like, yeah, like, he can answer. But, like, he really can't say too much because, like, I don't know. Like, it's, like, 
pretty sure he's in like legal trouble, bro. So like, I really don't know how much Ja can actually say. What has it been like for you to be away from the game that you love? Like, we miss watching you play, Jai. Yeah, man. And I know you miss being out there. Like, yeah, what has man. It been like Let him know, Jalen. Learning about yourself, growing, as you've talked about growing. What has it been like being away from your teammates and being away from the game that you love? Thanks. Uh, it's been tough. It's been tough. I wonder um, if he's but, getting you know, shots up over of, there. You know, my teammates, <laughs> my coaches, you know, the whole. I wonder if he's getting shots coach, up over you know, there. All them, you know, being behind me and. You know, John might come back me, brolic. You know, checking on me, um, kind of he might come back from therapist of all brolic. Them, you know, oh, looking, looking like Zion. Zion. <laughs> um, but nah, like that. I had to you know, be there for myself. So me taking this time away mm -hmm. um, to you know learn how to be there for myself and you know learn how to be a you know better job with you know managing my stress. I would not only make me a better job, but make us, you know, better as a team and, you know, as an organization with, you know, how I'm coming in now. And Facts. one of the things that people underestimate is that, yeah, you're successful. Yes, you're a great family man. Yes, you're great at basketball. But we get stressed out, too. So can you talk to people who are dealing with Oh, yeah, with I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure all them pro athletes and stuff are the most stressed out, bro. Some of them are supporting their families. You know what I mean? You have the paparazzi down your freaking throat with every every move that you make. You know, on top of that, you're, you're getting misquoted all the time, and people are always trying to misrepresent you. And you know, if you if you slip up and you do one thing, it's all over the news. Like I'm sure, bro, these athletes are under a lot of stress, man. Like <laughs> being in the spotlight. Like I'm not in the spotlight, bro. But like, shoot. I can only imagine what it's like. You know, I, I I have a hard time with freaking picture day at school. You know, so I can't imagine what with these me. brothers are going what through. What has it been like for you to discover how to manage it and give them some advice on how they can manage it in their own lives? I feel like you're just starting off by saying talk to somebody. Um, yeah, man. You don't have to be afraid. It doesn't make you soft. It doesn't make, it doesn't make you it don't make you soft. express your feelings to somebody. It don't make you soft like, at all. I had to learn, you know. Let him know, Ja. was the type to, you know, keep everything in. And hey, Ja going to come back different, bro. You know, talking to Ja going to come back different, man. You know, what's going on in my life. And I feel like as a pro, some people don't realize that it's it's a lot on our plate. Um, you, for me, being, yeah, man. you know, I'm 23. Mm -hmm. I'm starting at a young age. I'm a, I'm a pro Red came Cooper, in so. Young, turned into a I'm a pro Red Cooper, so I already know, man. Um, pretty much the breadwinner, you know, of my family. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's a lot on my plate outside of... Say, nah, bro. I'm not no pro Red Cooper. <laughs> I'm not no pro Red Cooper. Let, but nah. Let, 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 let me stop. Let me stop playing around. Let me, let me stop know, playing around. Day-to-day -day life. And, you know, I had to learn that. And I learned that, you know... It's a lot of responsibility, that, man. You know, it's okay. And he's owning it all. Like, that's that's really what I'm loving about this, bro. Like, he's really you know, owning everything. He's through. not blaming anybody you know, else or I'm anything like that. Dealing with stress, anxiety to, you know, go talk to somebody. What yeah. has it been like for you to see people criticize your inner circle and talk about who you should be? Jalen, why are you asking dumb questions, bro? What do you mean, what does it feel like for people to criticize his inner circle? Clearly, he's not rolling with the right dudes, Jalen. What type of... Bro, who, who told Jalen Rose to do this interview? Them and or what have you learned about how you should move with your team going forward? Um, honestly, you know, I feel like we put ourselves in, you know, that situation with, you know, our past mistakes. Um, and now this it's only right that, you know, we, we focus in and lock in on Jayla not know, asking the right questions, man. And more responsible He's not bro. each other accountable, you know, for everything. I Where's like Stephen A when you need him? In the past we didn't we didn't know what was at stake. We're Shaq. And now, you know, finally me having that time, um, to, you know, realize everything, have that time alone. Um, I realize that now. I realize, you know, what I have to lose, and, you know, for us... Let me skip through some of this. This is a um, long interview. They try to find, you know... I try, I'm trying to keep my videos and, a little shorter. You know, I put myself in those situations. You no, know, I'm not affiliated with any gang. Like I said before, I don't... Yeah, bro, I don't know, like, you know, Jai's, like, getting into trouble and stuff, and y'all are over here like, oh, he's gang-affiliated and stuff. Like, bro, I... Like, have y'all... Like, I showed y'all the picture, bro. Like, that brother is not gang-affiliated at all, like... Media just be hyping stuff up, bro. You know, some dude starts, you know, going down the wrong path and y'all are quick to, to throw him a label. You know, I, I never thought Ja was gang affiliated. 
I, I just thought the brother was going through stuff, you know, and clearly needed to seek help. That's all That's all I thought it was. I never looked at you. Oh, he's gang affiliated. Like, no, bro. I don't know where people got that stuff from. You know, any type of violence. And it's just all pretty much on me to, you know, now from now on um, to, you know, be a better guy and, you know, yeah, stop man. that narrative. What is this last year or so? Because there were rumblings that the organization was kind of trying to talk to you and steer you in the right direction and your head coach. Me even more because I feel like, you know, I let them down. What was it like not knowing what your punishment from the league is going to be? And what can. Jalen, why are you asking these dumb questions, bro? Where, oh, what, what, what is it like not knowing your, your punishment? Jalen, his help is more important than the punishment as of right now, bro. Forget about the freaking punishment. We want to know if Ja's going to be all right. That's what we want to know. We're all rooting for him. And I'm sure you are too, Jalen. You're just asking dumb questions for whatever reason, man. Respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. But I, I highly doubt Ja's worried about his punishment right now, man. He's worried about actually trying to get back on the court. He'll worry about the punishment afterwards. Like, who chose Jalen Rose to do this interview, man? It's starting to get me tight. Well, like, that was the tough part, man. Um, obviously, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know, you know, which route they was going to go. Uh, my main focus at the end of the day was still, you know, focusing on me, you know, being there for me. So, mm -hmm. I felt like, you know, my health was the most. And this ain't going to be your legacy. I oh. guarantee you it won't be your legacy. We so know this. what can we anticipate from you and the Grizzlies as it relates to this Western Conference? You said previously that ain't nobody in the West. He, <laughs> hey, he said we I all good in the West. You're really ready to get back out there and do Josh what? said it with his chest. We all good in the West. <laughs> what can we expect from your squad? Yeah, man. The of the season? A more locked in um, team. I can <clears> say number one. Um, Obviously, you know, starting with me, you know, mm. being more locked in, um, paying attention to detail. Um, you're going to see a team that's going to come out and play hard, you know, for a full 48 minutes. Um, and I feel like that's been our identity, you know, this whole time. And um, just can't wait to be back to, you know, yeah, man. be out there with them and go to battle with them. Um, like I said before, we, all excited we, to we get know you what back. Our, you know, our ultimate goal is, and that's to win a championship. And, you know, we got to do that from, you know, once the ball go in the air to, the you know, the last buzzer sound. All right, man. So, I know I jumped around a lot in the video and whatnot. I just did it for time reasons. But uh, the interview was kind of like what I expected. You know, Ja has, you know, said stuff before. He fully takes accountability for, for everything that's going on. Um, Jalen asked some good questions. But uh, I don't feel like... I don't, I don't know. A lot of the questions Jalen ask, was asking was like kind of like dumb stuff and repetitive. Like, Ja's not going to be able to say everything. Maybe you could try to squeeze stuff out of him, but I don't know. You know, I felt like Jalen could have asked better questions. Respectfully, man. Respectfully. Before y'all try to come at me and all types of stuff. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I think we're all happy that Ja is taking the, the proper steps that he needs um, in order to be the player that he is and can be. You know, Ja is, what, only 23 years old? Like, the sky is really the limit for him, man. The sky is really the limit for him. And, you know, he, he got a little set off track. You know, that's that's what happens, bro. Stuff happens sometimes, man. That's, that's life. It's all about how you bounce back. So I'm really excited to see how and when Ja is going to bounce back. And, uh... See what he can do in the league, man, because the kid is special, bro. The the kid is special, and I would really hate to see his career end um, just by doing pointless nonsense, you know? Pointless nonsense, bro. But, um, yeah, not nah, I mean, <clears throat> all in all, it, it, it was a good interview, bro. All in all, it was a good interview. But real quick before I go, I want to leave y'all off with... Uh, a little uh, motivation, man. And my message to y'all today is pain is temporary, man. Pain is temporary. It does not last forever. Sometimes it, it may be hard to, to see through the pain. 
But you have to see through the pain, man. That's life. If you know that pain is temporary, tch, man, if you guys only understand and know and realize that pain is temporary, when you face it, you're not going to run from it. You're going to embrace it and you're going to fight it. That's what you're going to do. You're going to freaking fight it, man. Because life is all about how you bounce back. That's all the content I have for y'all folks. Till next time, y'all. Peace.